The Last of Us Easter Eggs You Missed The Last of Us Episode 1 is now out, and there are several details, Easter eggs, references, and more that were easily overlooked. While many viewers of The Last of Us may have played the game, there is an entire audience that did not, which means that some components may have missed them by. In this video, we'll take a look at The Last of Us Easter eggs you might have missed. Number 7. Joel's Guitar before the outbreak, Joel's daughter Sarah may be seen roaming around the house early in the show. Joel's guitar can be seen in the backdrop of one scene, referring the game and hinting at a future storyline. Joel finally confesses in The Last of Us game that he intended to be a musician before the epidemic and that he is a good vocalist and guitarist. Joel, on the other hand, keeps his singing and musical abilities hidden from Ellie, eventually revealing them later in the game. The Last of Us Part 2 expands on this theme with the guitar setting up a story that could be told in future seasons. During the time gap between the two games, Joel begins to teach Ellie guitar and even gives her a guitar at the start of the game. Joel's guitar becomes a symbol to Ellie after his sad death, reminding her that Joel is always with her. Although Joel's musical abilities have yet to be explored in the HBO series, his guitar in The Last of Us Episode 1 is a hint that the story will certainly appear somewhere. Number 6. Curtis and the Viper 2 in the first episode of The Last of Us, Sarah borrows a movie from a neighbor to watch with Joel on his birthday. Curtis and the Five or Two is the name of the fictional movie Sarah chooses, and while it may appear inconspicuous, it is actually an allusion to Last of Us Part 2. Ellie informs someone in the game that she plans to watch Curtis and the Five or Two with Joel. Her plot, however, is cut short by Joel's murder. While the film is merely a reference, it demonstrates the author of HBO, The Last of Us, attentions to detail and love for the game. Number 5. The Infected Tendrils The first infected Sarah encounters in The Last of Us has a little element that demonstrates a significant difference from the game. Before The Last of Us premiered, creator Craig Muzzin indicated that spores will not appear in the series. Spores are airborne particles in the game that infect humans who breathe them in. However, Joel's sick neighbor has tendrils coming out of her mouth, indicating that the spores have been replaced. As it turns out, HBO's infected will transmit the fungal illness via these tendrils, with the neighbor serving as the first confirmation. Number 4. The Truck Scene During the initial outbreak, Joel, Sarah, and Tommy escapes by driving out of town in a truck. This scenario is practically a shot-for-shot -shot replica of the original game sequence with certain shots even perfectly sync with the game's version. The camera is positioned in the backseat of the truck, giving the scene the appearance and feel of gameplay. While the infection outbreak scene in The Last of Us follows the same plot as it does in the game, the truck scene demonstrates how faithful HBO's adaptations is to the original material. Number 3. Marlene Marlene is the head of the Fireflies, a group of rebels opposed to Fedra's action in The Last of Us. Merle Dandridge plays Marlene in the HBO miniseries, but it's not the first time she's played the character. Dandridge also appears in both The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2 as Marlene. Merle Dandridge's reappearance is a lovely homage to the games from the HBO series creators, opening the door for additional game character actors to appear in the show. Number 2. Escaping the Quarantine Zone While exiting the quarantine zone near the end of The Last of Us Episode 1, Joel, Ellie, and Tess are forced to hide from Fedra soldiers dodging their rivals and lights in the darkness. The Fedra escape sequence in The Last of Us is a direct reference to Chapter 3 of the first game, which likewise depicts the characters attempting to escape the quarantine zone. Both episodes have comparable obstacles and camera perspectives, strengthening the link between the two. Number 1. The Clicker The final hidden feature is difficult to notice on first viewing, but it is by far the most important clickers are the main antagonists in The Last of Us. With the frightening call of the fungal zombies, Heard at the end of the first episode, while not expressively revealed in episode 1, a clicker can be seen in the episode's concluding shot. A concealed clicker may be seen standing on the roof of a building to the left side of the scene during one of the lightning strikes. Although clicker is only mentioned briefly in The Last of Us Episode 1, more of these monsters are certain to appear in the future. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.